like Pastor will always say. But how do you maneuver and get from where you are to score the goal? Wisdom will set you apart. It gives you the cutting edge. You, two people may have the same destination, but the person that works in wisdom will produce more results, will have more speed. You know, so wisdom brings success. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You know, so what I'm trying, I'm coming down now to, coming down to the hidden wisdom. Let's look at the life of Jesus Christ. Let's look at Luke chapter 2. Verse 40. Luke chapter 2, verse 40. And the child grew and became strong in spirit, filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was upon him. When Jesus Christ going, what and what did they say? Did the Bible mention what's with him? Strong in spirit, filled with wisdom, and because of that, the grace of God was upon him. Those were the elements and the virtue that Jesus Christ knew to be all, to become all he needed to be, to walk in the dimension that he was walking in. If the, you think the Bible just decided to say, and the child grew and became strong in spirit, filled with wisdom, and the grace was of God was upon him. For the, for, for the Bible to tell us why Jesus Christ was growing, what he was filled with, and what made his life become extraordinary, the word of God says he was filled with wisdom. Jesus Christ was filled with wisdom. He was strong in spirit, but he was filled with wisdom. And that is what God is saying to every one of us. If you want your life to be extraordinary, the dimension of glory God wants us to enter into is a dimension where we must be filled with wisdom. Verse 52 of that same scripture. And Jesus increased in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and men. These two scriptures talk about three things. The first one talked about Jesus being strong in spirit. It talked about wisdom and it talked about the grace of God. This one began to talk about when Jesus Christ was growing, he kept increasing in that wisdom. And so he had favor with God and with men. And so wisdom, Jesus Christ himself is actually, we look at that scripture, is, is, is our wisdom and everything. And in looking at that scripture, we know Jesus Christ, who is the epitome of wisdom, if you spend more time with Jesus Christ, if you have fellowship with God and Jesus Christ, the wisdom automatically becomes part of you. I found out that anybody that you spend more time with, husband and wife, after some time, they say you begin to look alike. You think alike, you talk alike, you just, you know, you say almost the same thing because you become one. You come into union, you know, with that person. And once you come into union with that person, you become that person. And so Jesus Christ himself, let's look at that scripture. I think it's in Colossians chapter, I don't know if it's the one in chapter 2 of chapter 1. I'm looking at, at a lot of scriptures because I want the scriptures to preach what I'm trying to say first. One of the ways to get wisdom is to have a very good work with God. And once you have that good work with God, every other thing becomes automatic because Jesus Christ himself is wisdom. Let's look at Colossians chapter 2. I think it's in... Um, Okay, Colossians chapter 2, let's start from verse 1. For I want you to know what a great conflict I have for you and those in Laodicea. And for as many as have not seen my face in the flesh, that their hearts may be encouraged, being knit together in love, and attaining to all riches of the full assurance of understanding, to the knowledge of the mystery of God, both of the Father and of Christ, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge both the Father and of Christ, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. In God the Father and Jesus Christ the Holy Spirit are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. And so if you come into union with them every day, if you take it, make it as a point of duty to make sure you are in communion and fellowship with the Father and the Son and the Spirit, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge, you definitely become, you know, an epitome of wisdom and knowledge. Praise the Lord. And most of the time, you see, if you look at the, what we read about Paul, you look at this scripture, he keeps talking about hidden, hidden treasures. He keeps talking about hidden, hidden 
Paul will talk about the hidden mysteries. So you must know that they are because the word of God says, do not cast your pearl before swine. And so everybody is not entitled, you know, to that wisdom. The, the, this hidden wisdom, this unique kind of wisdom we are talking about, you have to seek it. You have to seek it. You have to press into it. If it's that easy to come by, then everybody will be walking in that dimension of glory we are talking about. But then that is why you have to pay the price. Oyedek was said for 28 months, he prayed and sought after wisdom. So it's not just something that, and like yesterday I began to talk about, that if you really want this kind of wisdom, then you must become a desperado. You must become desperate for it. That is what you are thinking. That is what you are praying. That is what you are, the word of God, if you, if you seek me with all your heart, you will find me. And so, you know, there's this, um, um, I think this story, I think it was Jesus Christ, the parable about a woman that found a pearl or something and went and sold everything she had just to purchase it. And so that's how we are going to seek after wisdom this year. And just not wisdom. In your sphere of influence, you have to seek that hidden wisdom. Praise the Lord. The word of God says about Jesus Christ. Let's open our Bibles again to Mark chapter 6. Mark chapter 6. Quickly. Then I'll start praying. Verse 2. And when the Sabbath had come, he began to teach in the synagogue, and many hearing him were astonished, saying, Where did this man get these things? And what wisdom is this which is given to him that such mighty works are performed by his hands? And what is this wisdom which is given to him that such mighty works are performed by his hands? They are saying there's a unique wisdom. That's why they ask, and what wisdom was given to him? Because there must be a unique and special kind of wisdom that was given to him for these mighty works to be performed by his hand. And that's what I want you to catch. What wisdom? And so we are saying, when the word of God says, you know, I have not seen yet, I have not heard, you know, we are talking about those mighty works. We are not talking about common works. We are not talking about ordinary works. We are talking about outstanding. Something that makes you a sign, a wonder, a prototype, a pioneer, a trailblazer that people cannot help but notice and acknowledge you over that thing, or over that sphere. That's what I'm talking about. They say, what kind of wisdom? It means there was a particular kind of wisdom that was given to Jesus Christ that such mighty works are performed by his hand. For those who were not here yesterday, when you go home, read, you know, the, the scripture in, in, in 1 Corinthians 2 verse 9, you know, I, I won't go into that anymore because, you know, because of time, where it says, you know, that, um, um, that God has given us a hidden wisdom that has been ordained for our glory. Uh, okay, um, uh, media, can you show it? It's a foundational scripture. I think we need to, need to look at it because of those who are not here yesterday. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 from verse 7. Verse 7, start from verse 7. But we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery. The hidden wisdom which God ordained before the ages for our glory. The hidden wisdom. This wisdom that was ordained for your glory. I like scriptures when it says before the ages or before the foundation of the world. That means God did it and hid it from the beginning of the world. You know, like we say, God is in eternity. God is in the end, he's in the beginning. And in this season and generation, when he created you, and he put purpose inside of you, there was something he specifically and uniquely packaged for you that he hid, that is ordained for your glory, that he wants to reveal to only you. He, only you. And so you must make an effort to discover it. Are you a teacher? If you, have you discovered that your purpose is teaching that when God created you and created you before even he fashioned you, before he put you in your mother's womb, he said to Jeremiah, I knew you before you were formed. That thing that was in the mind of God that God put, uh, created an assignment and he says, this is what will make this person excel. You need to seek the heart of God for it. You need to seek the heart of God for it. Temple of glory has a wisdom, a hidden wisdom. When we discover it, it will, be, it, will be, it will be unique to other churches. A brand, and people will know. You know, there was a time in the body of Christ. It was our robots that came up with um, seed faith. You know, that talked about um, um, uh, 
the, the, the principle, before then nobody ever in the whole of the, uh, the generations, beginning from after Christ left and everything, they're talking about seed faith. It was Aura Robots. It was a, and that was what made him so popular. And that was why Aura Robots today is still used as a reference point. You know, he built, knowing how to use, um, and how to, the seed faith principle, you know, how to sow something and watch it grow and become something. People, he built a university. It was from him that um, Bishop Oyedekwa got the inspiration to build his own university. Or Roberts didn't go to school. But God gave him that hidden wisdom. God gave him that hidden wisdom. And so for you, wherever God has placed you, if you discover your purpose, then you need to begin to seek God. What is the hidden wisdom before that you said you ordained for my glory before the ages began, that you hid and you are not telling me this is a time to seek it and begin to manifest it. Because that is what will give you glory. That is what will make you become all that, reach the fullness of that which God has created it to be. You can, if you do it by power, by might, you may get only to level two when you are supposed to get to ten. But if you want to get to the peak of who God has created you to be, if you want to experience the peak of the glory that God has created you to be, then you must seek him for that hidden wisdom that he packaged 